Hey, y'all, look. They say fuck them dead niggas, man. Oh, and you know we smoking eggs. And you know we smoke them niggas. And it, oh, fuck that dead nigga. You, you know, know we smoking eggs. Up that, y'all, let it. Up that drop. Let it bang. Face. That breaking news alert a gunman still on the loose tonight after four people were hurt in a chaotic street shooting this afternoon. He just bumped me. He told me to get out of the way. He started shooting at everybody. He just started shooting. Police say two men got out of this silver car, went up directly to a man in his 20s, and shot several rounds, killing the man. What's good, people? It's Journal Entertainment Network, and um, if my voice sounds weird, it's actually because I've been sick for the last, like, few f***ing days, so excuse my um, weird-sounding voice if it sounds weird. Um, but yeah, here it is, the long-awaited uh, story of Leaky uh, from 1200, and um, shit, I mean, let's just get right into it. So, Leaky was born uh, on 2002 in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, he grew up on the east side. And he was close to guys like Spinabenz, Wabuda Chapa, J. Dot Breezy, and the rest of the 1200 block. Now, Leaky wasn't really a, a main street dude until really 2019. I mean, obviously, with, with these shorty guys, it's kind of like a slow descent as you climb the criminal ladder. But Leaky really uh, really hopped off the porch for real in 2019 when his best friend, John John uh, Akafua, was killed. Now, I'm actually going to do a video on uh, this particular situation, but basically, just to summarize it, um, John, Leaky, and a girl were walking down uh, by a warehouse in 1200 block when a, a van pulled up on them and started, started shooting at them. John was shot in the chest and he was killed. Uh, Leaky was shot and the girl was shot, but they both survived. But John died in the hospital, and basically, the cops found shell casings uh, at the scene that matched a different shooting from the north side where an apartment complex was shot up, but still, the case remained unsolved um, for another two years until in 2021 some uh, inmate in the jail basically asked for the cops to come talk to him and he told them that his cellmate was basically bragging about killing John John uh, and this guy turned out to be Rasta from Six Block and he was basically saying um, how John and Leaky had robbed one of his trap houses and so he spun back on him and killed John with a rifle from inside the van. Um, there was probably other people in, in in the van, you know, like a driver or something, but they were never caught and Rasta was never even charged with the murder because they just didn't have enough evidence. Now jumping into 2020, uh, Leaky would really start getting active and on April 20th, 2020, he pulled up on Fulio's car and shot it up with spin bends and green light. And um, no one was killed though, because it was this was the incident where Bubon Baby was driving his car, and uh, she was just his girlfriend, and uh, she ended up getting a bullet to the head and bullet to the finger. She got shot like a bunch of times, but she actually survived, uh, luckily. But this wasn't enough, and literally just like a few days later, uh, Leaky would allegedly catch his first body. Now, this was on May 3rd in 2020. Um, 3-5 from Avenue B and a bunch of other FB members like G3, Jarvo, um, J Rock, Kurt were all just chilling when a white Kia sedan pulled up and someone started shooting at them. 3-5 uh, got killed. He might have gotten shot in the head. A bunch of other people got shot. Um, I think Kurt got shot, J-Rock got shot, Jarvo got shot, G3 got run over. Um, and yeah, and then obviously no one was ever arrested for this, but the shooters allegedly on this hit were uh, Leaky and the other guy, can't really say his name, but I'll give you a hint. All right, there's your hint. So there were two other people on this hit. One of them is a rapper. He's kind of blowing up right now. And then the other one is a pretty low-key guy. He doesn't really, um... I I'm not gonna say his name, because he, he wants to remain private, obviously. Just the way you can tell, he barely takes any pictures, and he just... He's just a very low-key guy, but he is biologically related to Lil Papa, so I'll tell you that. Now, jumping forward a bit, on June 28th, 2020, Jump Out Squeeze from P4K was at Amazon trying to apply for a job, and just a week before, he'd actually dropped a really disrespectful song called Op Shit, where he dissed, like, every single dead 1200 member. And obviously Leaky and the guys were mad about that, so they basically got the drop from an ATK member who, um, shit, I mean, you probably know who it is, but they got the drop from him, and they pulled up, and, um, Leaky, this guy, and the rapper, uh, jumped out, well, this guy was in the car, he was the driver, but Leaky and the rapper jumped out, and they ran up to jump out and shot him a bunch of times, and then got back in the car and drove away, um, 
and this case was never solved either. It was unsolved, unsolved murder. Um, but yeah, allegedly these were the guys on this hit, and uh, this guy posted something on Instagram really incriminating about it. And he basically just admitted to it on Instagram, but he was never arrested for it because JSO never arrests anyone. So that's that. That was that. Now on September second, twenty twenty. Leaky was driving around um, with his guys at 1 a.m. when a car pulled up and started shooting at them. Leaky got hit in the head and uh, some of the other people got shot in the car, but they all survived except for Leaky. Uh, Leaky was taken to the hospital, but he died a few days later. Um, now the guys who did this hit were allegedly from Avenue B and one of the members in particular was, it was a personal get back for 3-5 because uh, one of the members who did this hit was um, biologically related to 3-5. The other guys on this hit, one of them was from 6 Block, it was uh, allegedly spazzed two times. And I can say his name because he's dead, but it was allegedly spazzed two times and the other guy was actually recently arrested for a whole different murder, so it was three people on this hit. Um, and they're all, well, the other, two of them are in prison, one of them is in prison for murder and then the other one's dead, but yeah, that's just how it went. I bet Leaky Hostage, Leaky died. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Nick smoked that whole, that whole body right there. Nigga ain't bullshit. Man, died because I was in this bitch like this. When the second that nigga died, I sparked the blank. <laughs> Man, I was in this bitch like this. Man, when the second that nigga died, I sparked the blank. Man, I was in this bitch like this. I took that nigga a couple of leaves. Whoa. Oh, that shit though. <laughs> oh God! You know that boy was sipping that dirt, dirt. Whoa! Little boy. boy. <laughs> call. I'm like, come here, Leaky. Where you going? Little boy, I got some new shit for you, boy. Let's flip it. I got, some, I got. Hey, cool. Look cool. Look cool. I got some shit for you. Look cool. Hey, no. I'm Leaky High. <laughs> What you have fun? Now, November 19th, 2020, Spaz two times would be shot and killed on six block. Um, now, K. Shorty and those guys tried to basically lie and say it was a, it was a crackhead who killed him, but the evidence says otherwise. Um, if you listen to this guy's music, he basically admits to killing him, like, several times. Like, I'm not even joking, he literally just says, yeah, I caught him in his phone. <laughs> caught him in his phone, now he a dead person, like, shit like that. Always saying shit like that, but it is what it is, and, um... But yes, past two times, uh, his name was Jamarius Vinning, and uh, he was actually kind of a good rapper. So it's kind of unfortunate that he died, but yeah, this this was when Six Block was really getting the belt from 1200. Like, they were getting wiped out out here, man. Like, yeah, they stood on business, but yeah, they were getting some heavy smoke in coming from 1200. So yeah, but Leaky, um, RIP to Leaky, uh, he had a son, I believe, and his son is still alive. He's only like three years old. So he, you know, at least left behind something because um, he wasn't a rapper. He didn't leave behind any music or anything like that, but he left behind his son, so. I hope his son can grow up and have a have a decent life. Um, but yeah, really, that's that's all I have. Join the same network out.